For those old enough to remember the 70s, there was a company out at San Antonio called Southwest Technical Products Corporation, and they had a line of kit amplifiers that were relatively inexpensive and very high quality. I came across this uh, 20 watt per channel amplifier, uh, actually it's 25 watts per channel RMS, into 8 ohms. Uh, about two years ago, thought it was dead, and turned out it was a loose fuse, so it's back in operation now. The uh, uh, unit is compact, it's clean, and sounds rather nice. Uh, you know, we'll uh, let you hear it in a minute. It have it teamed up with a Dynaco Pat 4 and some Harman Kardon uh, equipment. You know, the unit has an IM distortion of only 0.01%, you know, damping factor over 100, and hum and noise of 85 decibels. Uh, it was a nice little unit, great value for the money. I had used one of their Tiger O1s for years and ended up getting rid of that back in the 80s and then came across this little honey. So we use it in and out uh, right now. Uh, have a Harman Kardon integrated amp that's out being recapped. Uh, since I was made an offer, I couldn't refuse on the recap deal. And now this one's in service. So let's take a listen. sound is nice and uh, now we'll give you a little bit of a close-up tour of it uh, so we'll be back in just a second for the close-up and just a quick once, once round on the amp and get your idea everything is neat and compact and really put in snugly but it runs cool it can be a little touchy trying to get to some of those fuses down there and I guess for space they decided to use quarter inch phono jacks for the speakers minor inconvenience uh, but really, just a neat little piece of vintage equipment. And there you have it from Switpick.